Let's consider now that we measured a group of participants, 30 participants in variable y, which could be, let's say, the, um, they are um, intelligence that is measured with some uh, scale that goes from 0 to 100. And now we measured them in another variable, which is, let's say, working memory capacity. And we obtain this scatter plot. In this scatter plot, for each uh, participant, we've get, we have one dot, and that dot is located in a way that gives us information about their score in the x variable and their score in the y variable. Now, we can have a measure of variability of the new variable the variable x and with a mean represented by x bar and the variability which it can be uh, calculated by the sum of squares, the variance and the standard deviation as I explained with variable y. Now we have uh, the variability of x, the variability of y and now we added another element which is the regression line in red. I'm going to explain the concept of regression of the regression line later in the master class. Suffice it to say here that the regression line has a couple of characteristics. One, that regression line intersects in the mean of x and in the mean of y. So it has to go through that point in which x, the mean of x and mean of y intersect. So, of all the possible lines that have to go through that point, the regression line is the line that minimizes the distance, the total distance of the observations represented by the orange dots in here and that line. We are going to explain later how we calculate that line. But this line, we're going to see here, it allows us to calculate a different type of variability. We can obtain a measure of the separation between the line and the mean of y. Now, we do that by using a, an equation that includes the sigma that we saw before, which means sum, and i equals 1 to n, again, that means that we are going to sum uh, all the values that go from 1 to n, which in this case is 30, so we are going to sum 30 values. What values are those? Well, we've got these values that are fi, so f1, f2, f3, f4, to f30. But what is, what is f? Well, f is a function that will give us the regression line and I'm going to explain that later. But in this graph is represented by the red line. And we subtract from that those values the mean of y. So those 30f values you have to consider each of the dots here, each of the orange dots here, and we need to identify the value of x in which they are located. And for that value of x, then we identify where the regression line is located. So let's take into account that the value of x is 50. So if the value of x is 50, in this case the regression line is at 50 in y as well. So for x 50, y is going to be 50. And if you can see for 100, for the x of 100, y will be some, somewhere between 50 and 100. It's a bit more than 75. And for x of 0, y is somewhere between 0 and 25. So now for each for each um, value of, of 
of, of x in the variable x, we are going to find using the function f what value corresponds to y. And that we are going to subtract from the mean and again we are going to obtain a square of those values. And we do that 30 times and then we sum all these values. So that gives us an idea of how far the regression line is from the mean of y. Now let's move to another type of variability. In this case we are going to identify the variability from the orange dots, which are the observations, the values of y, and the regression line. So I, I drew a, a line between the dots and the regression line, so the sum of those, of those uh, distances is the sum of squares, which is called residuals. Sort of error of the regression. So if the regression line tries to predict the values of, of y, then the distance between the regression line and those values is the error of the regression, or as they are called as well, residuals. Now let's put everything together. We've got the total variability of y, we've got the variability from the regression line to the mean of y, and then the variability of the observations from uh, the regression line. So, and these we calculated the sum of square. We can calculate the sum of squares of these variabilities. So, in this case, we can then calculate the sum of square total, which is the total variability of y, as an equation that. Um, is the sum of the sum of squares of the regression plus the sum of squares residual. And finally, the R square value is obtained with the ratio of the sum of squares of the regression and sum of squares total.